Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. It's August the 1st. Let's take a summer garden tour and harvest some grapes. Got some peppers. Harvest is coming in. I've been harvesting a whole lot of peppers, especially uh, jalapenos these days. And uh, yeah, the rain has been really good for the garden. And it really helped my summer garden kind of get a last oomph in before the, the heat of August and September really zaps the garden. Unless we just get a wet summer, that's usually the way it goes here. But yeah, I'm getting some harvest. I'm real happy about that. I have been harvesting a little bit here and there, uh, peppers especially, uh, peppers that I dry, lots and lots of these uh, Christmas lima beans. In fact, I've spilled some of them back there. I was able to get some pumpkins from my Kogigu pumpkin. Um, three of them here, but I harvested about seven of them. This was my last zucchini, and these are my uh, seeds from my muscadine grapes that I've been keeping. And uh, yeah, it's been a real nice, uh, a real nice harvest for the summer, eating most of it and using it. Somebody had asked to see my elderberry plant, my bare root that I had planted. Well, there it is. It's uh, growing just fine here and uh, looking healthy. Lots of branching here. It's going to be kind of a bush uh, rather than a tree. You can see I've got a couple of stalks or a couple of main stems, three of them, four of them actually coming up there. So this will grow in more of a bush pattern and uh, that's okay. I don't mind that. One thing you want to do while this is still be being established is when your grass sends all its runners out into the little soil around, around it here, pull that stuff out. That's the whole purpose of the bricks is to give me a border where I can clear out where the lawn is competing with my tree. The last day of July, so this is the end of July, August 1st video uh, tour of my garden. And I haven't been posting much lately, as you've noticed, because it's just too hot and there's not a lot growing right now. But I'll show you what is growing. Um, the things that are growing are growing well. Um, I've shown you before my great lima beans that are doing fantastic. They look like a jungle. Um, eggplants are still thriving. And now that it's so hot, I don't have any trouble with spider mites. If you remember, these eggplants right here were knocked all the way back basically to the ground uh, by spider mites. And I treated for spider mites, all the leaves were dropped off, and just enough rain has come to really liven these up. So I expect, with all these blossoms on here, that I should get some eggplant fruit soon. We'll see. Steve, the stevia plant has finally died in this little pot we were afraid it would. Samuel and I planted this. That actually might be a little stevia coming up there but I doubt it probably a weed but this is uh, this was Samuel's plant we planted last year and uh, we kind of were amazed it lasted so long but all the other little pots over here are doing fine because of the rain we've had lately all that time the peppers uh, everything's looking good that's in pots currently got some more peppers over there I've kind of moved things around because I had roofers come and needed to get these out of the way uh, my squash that survived the spring garden um, was knocked back by all kinds of things. Um, it's looking kind of sad because the sun has beat down on it all day, but in the evening it starts to perk up. I haven't seen any female blossoms on there yet. I don't think I will, but I'm going to leave it there anyway. Um, yeah, parts of the garden are kind of fallow right now, just laying under mulch. And that's okay by me. Come October, we'll put in new things over here. The sweet potatoes are going crazy. They really did like the rain and I uh, really shot up a lot. So I've got some Japanese sweet potatoes. These are store-bought orange sweet potatoes that are growing up this trellis here. And those are the slips we made back in the spring from store-bought potatoes. And these are the slips that I ordered from Gurney's. These are also two different kinds of Asian sweet potatoes. Um, pepper plants doing great. You can see there's some jalapenos over there. I harvested all the jalapenos off of this one last night. Well, I missed one. There's a little guy right there. Uh, there's uh, the year before, last year's rosemary still doing okay. And all the cowpeas, look at those. They're starting to bush up and uh, stand about a foot tall. So that's encouraging. Down here, we've got some more peppers coming in. Lots and lots of them. And uh, try to get these morning glory weeds and vines off of my plants. They tend to choke them out, but uh, yeah, look at it, looking good. Green beans, still growing. Heat's getting to them a little bit, but I'm still getting green beans off of them. 
Over here, these are the seed pods ready to be plucked and, and seed saved uh, from my Green Wave greens, uh, mustard greens. Lots of seed pods on here have already dropped off, so I'll probably get a lot of volunteers around here. And that's okay. But uh, yeah, that was a real nice green. I have this volunteer that has blossoms all over, but I don't know what it is yet because I have not seen a female fruit. And I suppose I'll discover one at some point. That looks like a female fruit right there. But it doesn't look like it got fertilized. Now I don't know what this is. When I pinch the leaves, they don't smell cucumberish. So I guess I'll find out when I start to see some fruit, if I see some fruit. So we'll find out together. These are the other sweet potatoes. These are kind of the backups that are doing just fine. They're kind of taking over my citrus tree over here. I've got this orange tree kind of buried back here, which uh, it's actually helping it. It's a tender young plant and uh, it's been uh, kind of shaded over here, growing just fine. Cowpeas, these are the, the second little patch of cowpeas. Doing great. My other cowpeas are growing among the corn. And again, it's almost a repeat of last tour, but uh, they're doing fine. Uh, not as many sprouted here. And you can see I've got some weeds coming in because I had pulled my mulch back. That's what happens. You pull your mulch back, you can see the weeds. That's some nut sedge. Man, I hate that stuff. I need to get it out of there. Uh, but some weeds coming up there. But where I have this mulch, that's real thick mulch. In fact, it's uh, about, well, it was about two inches deep, but it's starting to break down. But you can see there's hardly any weeds over here. I've got uh, more peppers coming in. More peppers over there. My tomatillo they put on a bunch of fruit, but they didn't really get very mature. It's got a whole lot of blossoms on it, but it's looking really sad. And I don't know what's wrong with these tomatillo plants. Um, they just don't grow well for me. Uh, lots of people had lots of ideas, but I, I'm not going to grow tomatillos again. But uh, right in here, all these peppers are doing fine. And uh, Phoebe, good girl. This is where Phoebe chased the possum last night. We had an opossum in my uh, muscadine grapes and it went up into these beans here trying to escape the wrath of the cord. Um, peppers, more peppers. You can see these little bikinho peppers are growing well. They're getting really nice and red and uh, these are not hot at all. I don't really care for them too much. They don't have much flavor and they're mostly seeds. So uh, I probably won't grow these again. I pickled some and they're okay for a little munching snack but uh, yeah they're not that great. More sweet potatoes over here doing really well uh, refugee um, peppers doing really well yeah we had a lot of rain so everything's really lush there's a beautiful Olympian fig ready for harvest so we'll pluck that one got another one over here that's ready but it's kind of had some bug damage it's got a spider living right there but the rest of it will be okay but that one's the nice one the birds have eaten all the rest of these figs and the ones that are coming in probably don't have enough time to make it to the end of the season. Most of my figs have put on fruit. Not all of them, but most of them. And uh, between the birds and I, we've enjoyed uh, some nice figs this year. I've got a few more over here that are still uh, still working their way to produce some figs. In fact, that one, not quite ready. But uh, yeah, the figs have done well this year. The star of the summer garden right now are the grapes. My muscadine. Samuel and I are going to come harvest these because the squirrels found them and uh, the opossums have found them. And so if I want any, I need to get them in now. Uh, there's one right there. So, so ripe they fall off the vine. These are delicious. And the ones you drop, don't worry about them. Too right. But you want the soft ones. They've got to be soft. If they're still a little red, don't pick them, okay? Okay. Aha, here's what we're looking for right here. All of these are good. Yeah. I saw those on the way over. Oh, That's my. There's a giant cluster of good ones. Yeah, darker ones are usually kind of plump. Mm -hmm. Oh, found a massive cluster of them back here. Good. On this other vine. Alright. Down there. Stop. The thing about these kind of grapes is that we don't pick the whole bunch. They grow in small clusters rather than big bunches like traditional grapes. Yeah. And so we pick, we pick them basically individually. You still getting them? Mm-hmm. There's some right over there. Right oh, in there. Right here? And down right below, there. yeah, those, those look pretty good. I 
that's about what we're looking for when we harvest. Nice and dark and shiny and they kind of just pop right off when you, you give a little tug. Alright, I think that's enough for now. All the rest of them need to be... Here, let's put them together. What do we got? Put those in here. It is a whole lot of grapes. How much did we get? Let's look. There we go. Two gallon bags full. This one a little more full. And uh, I'll add that. I've got four more gallons at least in the freezer. And so that's a lot of grapes. So there we go. That is our grape harvest for today. And uh, quite a bit. And that's not even our light colored grapes. That was just our two dark colored vines. And the first harvest. So uh, pretty impressed. Got a, got a uh, good amount of grapes there. I'd weigh them, but I broke my kitchen scale. But uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, like us on Facebook. Like us on Instagram. Uh, follow us here on YouTube. We're not posting but maybe once a week right now until our fall gardening really gets going in earnest. Later on this month we're going to start talking about that and then um, at the end of this month we're going to sow seeds for our fall garden and we're going to plan out our fall garden and through September we'll be talking about how to get ready for growing in zone 9 a during the fall. So stay tuned for that. Our videos will ramp up at that time. In the meantime, happy gardening to you. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.